Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Today you join me in a brand new place I've never been before. I'm confined to go to five kilometers away from home, so I'm right at the very limit now of my five kilometers, and I kind of got more or less rinsed my local woods. And truth be known, my local woods is only 100 meters away from my home anyway. You might have seen some of my previous episodes that I can walk to that woods. But today I've traveled around four and a half kilometers from home, so I'm still within my five kilometer radius. And it's a place that I've, like I say, I've never been to before, but I do think it's going to give me a couple of shots anyway today. But more importantly, it's definitely going to give me a location that I come back to in different uh, scenarios. There's a lot of old trees as well that are here. It's actually a very, very old pagan well that was taken over by Christianity. I don't know the exact length of time. I'll put it underneath there. I'll check it on my way out because there's a card that tells me what it is. But as you can see here when I was setting up, there's a stream that's running down through it. So I'm going to um, try and get some shots anyway of the water that's here that's moving. But what I do like is this tree that you see here, the roots are really, really exposed right at the bank of the water. So I'm going to try and get down low and try and capture a photograph of the root mechanism that's here, some of the moving water that's coming through. And you have a couple of benches as well that are there because it's a picnic area. Um, I might try and take those out of the photograph later on in post. We'll see how they look. But yeah, let's go today. Let's see what we can get and let's see what type of different photographs anyway we can get to kind of stop me going stir crazy in this lockdown that we have in Ireland at the moment. For my first composition now, I've come down really, really close to these roots of this tree that I mentioned earlier on. And when I first put the camera close down, I wasn't really over enamored with the composition, but I just slightly tweaked it. And what you have effectively is a lot of crisscross diagonals. So the roots that are down here, there's one line that's coming up this way, then you've got this branch of a tree that's going the opposite way, and then the river as well will bring you on. So the composition is typically your kind of standard, you know, straight lines, leading lines, but it's actually a lot of diagonals, and I kind of like that. I first also as well put on my Sigma 24 to 70 because I said, you know what, I'd probably go for a wide open aperture to try and get a bit of bokeh in the background. But now I've changed it out here to my 24 to 30, uh, to my 16 to 35, and I'm at 24 mils. So I'm at exactly the same focal length, but I've actually put on my polarizer here now as well, which helps to be able to bring out the colors that are below here. It also allows me to be able to see more into the water and you know, kind of gives me a better effect, I think, within the image. I'm going for a relatively long exposure. I'm actually going for um, 1.3 seconds. And what that's allowing me to do is keep movement in the water as well. Now, there are people around me as well here at the moment, so they might be in the shot. There's a couple of kids that are playing, but that's fine because I'm able to take those out in post. But I do think, you know, from a first composition in a whole new area, this could be a, a nice shot. Uh, I'll obviously see when I get it back to base, but yeah, overall, yeah, we're going to go explore a bit more and see what else we can find anyway here in my new place to explore. As I'm walking along the path here, um, you can probably just see it the way I've got it framed. You see these two trees, there's one here and there's one here. They're Scots pines and they're kind of standing out from the rest of the crowd. They're up high as well, but you know, it's enabled me to be able to get down and get a high perspective or a low perspective looking back up at the trees. And there's a gap now in the clouds and I'm just waiting now for a bit of light to come through. Hopefully it'll kind of touch the side of those and give them a nice bit of a glow. There's a lot of chaos that's going on around here as well. So what I'll need to do is slightly adjust my composition. So there's a couple of trees that are just cutting into the left hand side of the branches that are here. So you can see that just above my head here. So these trees that are just here, uh, where's my thumb there? 
are just cutting into the frame so I might have to move a small bit this way and it's about adjusting the composition and just waiting then hopefully for that light to come through I do like it I do kind of think they're standing proud and tall as well on the hill and then you've got this bracken that is you know withered now it's in the in January time so there's not much color left in it but it still gives a nice baseline I think to the image and then leading up into the sky I'm going to use my polarizer as well because you know I want to make sure I bring out those colors there is no wind here today so I don't need to worry about that but I might need to get uh, a bit of a longer exposure but not too long that I'm going to blow out the image because I'm shooting straight up into the sky but yeah I think it'll be uh, a nice photograph anyway I'm going to play around here I'm going to go into portrait orientation I don't think I'm going to fit it in in uh, landscape orientation but I'll try that as well but yeah could be good who knows but again it's always about experimenting and exploring Walking through this woods, I do think there's going to be a few nice shots that I can get. Maybe not today, but from a recce point of view, it's identifying some compositions which could be nice in the right conditions. Coming along here now, you've got all different types of trees, and there's a set of trees here. I don't know what type of trees they are, um, but they look nice because there's some of them that have got some uh, moss on them, and there's some then as well that don't. And it's purely a matter of moving my camera along the plane here to be able to see as many trees as I possibly can, that they're not crossing each other off. I'm going to go for a probably f8 to f11 from um, an aperture and then I'm going to play around as well with my exposure time depending on the light because the light is coming in and out now as well that's the sun, the sun is behind you lighting up this way so yeah I do think that there could be some nice shots here but nonetheless still a nice shot anyway I think for today like I say I'm just going to play around here and trying to frame the photograph in a different way to look at the different colors that are within the trees try and find some balance as well within that there's nothing much that's going to distract me other than just the trees themselves but yeah let's crack on let's see what else I can get now from this spot I'm not having to go far now to find my next composition and I found a bank of uh, Scots Pines trees that are here and they're up on the hill they are kind of curving as well into the center from the outside in so when I first looked at the image I went okay is this kind of barreling within the lens because it does look as if there's a, a curve on the outside but they're actually curving themselves naturally so they're being caught as well now right now by a nice little, tiny touch of light and my settings I'm going to take the photograph are at f10 I'm at one tenth of a second and my ISO is at 100. I'm framing it as well just to get this bank of trees within the frame as well also and there's a nice like I say touch of light only on the right hand side I'd like if it was able to get to the rest of the trees but obviously you know there's a gap in the clouds that's shining it in that way here but I'm going to play around here before I miss this light anyway get the next shot yeah how many have I got now maybe three maybe four don't know but yeah it's fun anyway to explore a new area and uh, yeah we'll see what I can pull out of here now next I've scrambled up this bank here because as I was walking along the path below I saw this tree and it kind of stands out from everything else because we've got straight line trees as I showed you earlier on but this guy is kind of at an angle and he's going out uh, over the pathway he's covered in moss there's a number of different uh, kind of twigs and branches as well that are growing out of the trunk but I've decided to come down really really low and try and get in close enough to the image but you know to keep a bit of the foreground which is the leaves that are on the ground keep a bit of that tree as well and then obviously you know I'm shooting directly now well not, not obviously to you but obviously to me but I'm shooting in the direction of the sun so it will be hard to be able to get it in one exposure so I'm going to take a couple of exposures just to balance the light and then I'll blend those together then when I put the image together in post but I do like the tree don't know if I'm going to be able to get a great image of it right now um, because there's nothing really of interest except for the bark but I imagine that this place in the autumn will be probably a place that I will come to regardless if we're in lockdown or not one of the advantages I suppose of exploring new areas is that you know you've got a lot to be able to find and I found one or two anyway that I like here today and there'll definitely be places that I'll come back to when we're out of this whole lockdown that we're in at the moment 
Um, I do hope that you've enjoyed coming along on this episode with me. I'm going to sign out for now. If it's your first time on the channel, I would really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. Hit me a like as well below. YouTube likes if you give me a like, so it helps me out in my content and support the channel. Give me a comment. And until the next time, Schlange Fall.